is going on everybody? This is Gabriel Jones giving you a drop of sun any chance I get. And today, from a very special location, since I am visiting family for the week, we are going to be reacting to the new Don Tolliver album, Life of a Don. Even though he's only been around for roughly three years, Don Tolliver is quickly making a name for himself in hip-hop. He's a Houston-based rapper who started releasing mixtapes until he got signed to Atlantic Records. From there, he was able to release his first big mixtape, Donnie Womack. Eventually, he caught the attention of Travis Scott, who brought him onto Astroworld, and let him do a feature on his song, Can't Say. This was the moment his career absolutely took off to the moon, and soon he had a lot of new eyeballs on his work. In March 2020, Don released his first studio album, Heaven or Hell, which made it to number 7 on the Billboard 200 and received a gold certification in the US. The record included singles like After Party and No Idea, both of which were certified platinum. To make his year even better, Don was featured on the hit song Lemonade, which peaked at number 6 on the Hot 100. Now here we are prepping to listen to his follow-up album. As someone who isn't too familiar with his work, I think it's just about time we dive into it. But first, I wanted to give a special shout out, once again, to Jess and Zena of Trans Girl Therapist. They are amazing, they are currently supporting me on Patreon, which you guys can do as well. They run their own channel on YouTube called Trans Girl Therapist. They are great, they talk about a lot of important topics. I highly recommend you check them out. They are wonderful. And now, let's get to the album. Track number one, Escape. It's really jazzy right now. Now, you may have gone through a big heartbreak, but you're still looking very gorgeous, like always. I know you just want to let loose, but, you know, you just got to keep holding on to hope. Mmm. Melodic is what he's going for. Mmm. Some work right here. I'm hitting like a real high note right there. I like that little melody towards the end. All right, so that was Escape, and I gotta say, banger way to open up the album. So he seems to be singing about a girl who went through a horrible breakup, but he is sort of lifting her up again after she got her heart terribly broken, and he's letting her know that he's always gonna be there for her, which, great sentiment, honestly. The instrument, like, the way the production works on this song is, like, very soothing. It's very relaxing, and I think that's sort of what Don specializes in when it comes to you know, crafting music. Like the synth work at the end, I just dug so much. And the way his voice just works on the chorus and the verses, it's just so soothing. It really just like elevates you to a new plane. And I love that. Track number two, Five Times. Trap beat, baby. Ah, uh, I think by flips, he means like dancing on the floor. <laughs> I only want you, baby. You're the special one. Our relationship is so deep that I have her stripping out my home. Very exclusive. Nice little melody on the final seconds of the song. All right, so that was five times. That track is pretty straightforward with its meaning. He's singing about this girl who he loves visiting at the strip club, and he loves her so much that he has her dancing at his own home, which, you know, it's very intimate, of course. <laughs> the trap beat of this one I kind of enjoyed. I also liked his melodic voice, like before. Um, I don't know if I have much to say about this one. It's very enjoyable, but I think we can just move on from here. Track number three, Way Bigger. <clears throat> Yo, this beat is hitting hard. Ah, she ran off with the guy with the money. Mm. Don't judge me, all right? I didn't do nothing. Pour that douce in my lemonade. I like the flavor. Ah, oh, he had a sweetheart throughout the whole pandemic. Ooh. His vocals are reaching a new pitch and a new tempo. Really clever there, my boy. 
So that was way bigger. Uh, a lot of cool things happening on that one. I love how he's just talking about his high life, like the types of drinks he's just down in as he's swimming by the pool and hanging with his girl. You know, it's like a paradise. A paradise is what he's describing. The bass, of course, you know, is really bumping. That's what he was emphasizing through the lyrics. I do love the way he's painting his luxurious life with like him going to Vice City and him just like thumbing through with money and all that. He really is making us envious, so you're really you're really succeeding there, Don. <laughs> Trap number four, Flocky Flocky. I can hear like the guitar along with the beat. I think it's really cool. Mmm, New Orleans. Hope you get some good shrimp there, bud. Are we singing about Camila here? Because, you know, I guess more power to you. <laughs> you can look, but don't touch. I ain't like that. You got Travis Scott up in here. It had to happen at one point. It's lit, his tagline. Oh, that sounds like something I want to do when I'm rich. Stuffing my face with cake all day. Sounds fancy to me. <laughs> Tasting cotton candy. So we got cake, we got cotton candy, we got all these different kinds of sweets that these guys are playing with. I got like a fucking like candy shop or something. Alright, so that was Flocky Flocky. I really kind of dug the tempo on that one and the beat, the way the beat was constructed, I thought was very enjoyable. These guys are sort of singing about uh, their girl and the relationship they have with their girl. So it's them sort of talking about all the money they've been making while they're living the high life and just talking about all the work they have to go through, like flying to different cities, showing up with a specific amounts, and you know, probably having to carry like a weapon on them or something. <laughs> it really does make you realize how difficult the process is when you're handling your money. <laughs> Track number five, What You Need. Hmm. I'm liking the piano on this intro. Very downbeat. Ooh. I love how it's sort of echoing from a distance, the vocals. I put it way down in your gut. That's a big promise. <laughs> I gots to have that Gucci. You can't not have that Gucci. On your knees. <laughs> I think we know what on your knees means in this context. Mm. The piano is at a much higher pitch during the outro. Like that. Reaching a new pitch. All right, so that was What You Need, and that song was really interesting. He's singing about giving his girl whatever he wants, whether it be from Gucci, whether it be from Chanel, whether it be from any of these high-class brand stores. And he really seems to be committed to giving his girl whatever he wants, and I really gotta dig that. I really gotta dig that. <laughs> what I sort of like about the outro is that he's singing about taking these zannies, and he is trying to capture what it's like to go to sleep when you're on a zanny. It's like, oh my god, I'm having a very relaxing slumber. I'm going out, and... It's all feeling very soothing. So I really give you creative props in that one, Don. Very clever. Track number six, Double Standards. We seem to be hearing a recording within a recorded song. Mmm! Very melodic. I just can't stop using that word. And he's talking about his imperfections and how he wants people to accept him for who he is. Yeah, you can't just start living the life you want just like that. You have to actually really aim for that goal and work your way towards it. You know you're special, girl. I ain't gonna downplay your uniqueness. You really are one of a kind. It kind of sounds like Daddy instead of Donnie. 
Is that like what he tells his girl when they're at home with each other? <laughs> We're out of leagues with each other. And yet here we are. <laughs> okay, so that was Double Standards. And I sort of like the lyrical content in that one. He's sort of thinking about how everyone doesn't seem to want to accept his imperfections. And it really seems to be judgmental of your worth. And I think what he's sort of implicating throughout the song is that him and his girl know about the worth they have for each other. They know what each of them brings and how special each of them are on a personal level. And whenever they're alone with each other, they can share that love on a very intimate level, on the next sort of level of intimacy. And I think that's very sweet. Something else I've sort of noticed about Don's songs, especially on this record, or more specifically on this record, is that he really likes to let certain instrumentals play out as the track is coming to a close. It's sort of like he is showing off the production work or the sounds that go into making these tracks, sort of giving the producers a chance to shine. Or he's giving himself a chance to shine if he's the producer, so, you know, way to flex there. But yeah, I think that's something very unique this record is offering us, and I can't wait to see if he's gonna do it some more, so let's keep listening. Track number seven, Swangin' on Westheimer. Very slow tempo on this one. Don't believe everything you hear about me. You know, I have my own dark shadows. Woo! Ooh, the way the beat kicks in. Dang! We need each other, baby. Okay? That's a give and take. Oh, babe, I need you. I can't be here by myself. Please, please. <laughs> you know, I gotta take it slow, but there's a lot happening with my fame right now. Mmm, he's thinking about where he was, where he used to be before the big fame, and it's just something to reminisce on. I love how the beat cuts out, or, well, it's back now, but the beat was just out for a minute, and we just didn't do the instrumentals. Mm. Piano work is great here. Okay, so that was Swangin' on Westheimer, and that one had some really good instrumentals to it. I like the beat very much. It's sort of like he's reminiscing on his old life, and he's sort of taking his girl there right now, and sort of showing her the layout of the town, the neighborhood that he grew up in. And while she may be getting a little tired from it, he can't help but, you know, just reflect on where he came from, so can't fault him for that. Although you may be starting to need those annies now. <laughs> Track number eight, Drugs and Hella Melodies, featuring Kali Uches. I think I reacted to this song on TikTok a while ago. This was during my paying for views phase of TikTok. Side note, don't ever pay for views, they will minimize your likes. Mmm, my pudding be like a sedative. <laughs> you know, through the good times, the bad times, I wanna live my life with you. I want us to build some intimacy. I mean, you might have to bring her back at one point. <laughs> like a hundred rex. I want to love you like my money. Maybe you should love her more than your money. That's sort of like a clinking sound. Okay, so that was Drugs and Hella Melodies. Um, this might be my third time listening to it, but it's very relaxing. It's sort of soothing with its production and its vocal work. But yeah, it is a very great song full of romance and love. Don and Callie have really good chemistry on this track. I gotta admire that. Like, again, it's just so soothing. I really can relax while I'm listening to this type of music. So they really succeeded there. Track number nine, 2 a.m. Mmm, sort of like a reverse beat. Getting loose in the house, I see. You know, we get, we're going to England, boy. Mmm, I kind of like how the vocals repeated right there. 
the booty is bubbling up. <laughs> <laughs> Beating on your back. Sounds very sexual. So that was 2AM. Uh, I may have struggled to understand the lyrical content of this one. I think he's singing about a stripper who he's getting out of a really bad situation and bringing her over to his house so that she doesn't get caught up in all this trouble. And you know, he's gonna take care of her and everything. They might snuggle together or do more than that. But I'm sure he's gonna get her out of this, so. I could be totally wrong about this, I'm just totally fucking up here and I don't understand a single word of what's going on in this song, but if you guys understand, I would love to see it in the comments. But that's my best interpretation of these lyrics, so don't come at me, please. Track number 10, Get the Road. Hmm. Very funky beat with the piano. Ooh, Mustard on the beat, DJ Mustard. All right, here we go. Everyone can use a bit of Sprite every once in a while. I gotta quench my thirst. Mmm, Popeyes and Sprite. Sounds like you're living the life, my boy. <laughs> uh, cut the foreplay, let's just go right to bed. <laughs> Been a long time, hasn't it? <laughs> so I had to actually re-record some of my reactions because my camera unfortunately died as I was reacting to Get Thrown. Luckily, it is a new day, I am re-energized, and my camera is fully charged this time, and I can assure you we're gonna capture all the footage. Now to give you my thoughts on Get Thrown, I did really love the beat. Like DJ Mustard really knows how to work a track, and he really exemplified how much of a pro he is. The song meaning I don't really think I have much to say about, although it did make me hungry for some Popeyes and Sprite. <laughs> I don't think I have much to say about the song after that, so we can just move on to the other tracks and listen to them a, a second time. Track number 11, Company Part 2. Ooh! 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 Trap beat I like right now. Jimmy Choo! Good choice. I needed your company. I may not need it anymore. Please just can't resist me. <laughs> I can't exactly control where your heart goes. Sometimes people just find better significant others and that's totally all right. Those laughing effects, are they like a trademark for a certain producer? I might have to look it up. I hope he gives you all the love that you need in the world. Okay, so that was company part two. I believe that is a continuation of a song from his previous album, Company, where he was with this girl and they had a very intimate sort of relationship. They really cared about each other. But now it seems like they've gone their separate ways and they kind of found other people to mingle with. And you know, that's nothing to be mad about. Sometimes people just find better partners or people that they can connect with on a more intimate level. And you know, it's just something that naturally fizzles out. And I think no one has any malice towards each other, which I, I think is admirable. The trap beat on that song is pretty fine. I don't think I have anything else to say beyond the production, so we can just move on. Track number 12, Outer Space, featuring Baby Keem. The guy seems to be speaking in slow-mo right now, which is sort of really trippy. <laughs> mm. I kind of like the, uh, the, beat, the sonic beat right there. Alan Iverson, good way to look, buddy. See, that's how you know I'm baby keen. When I got two girls side by side, that's how you can tell me apart from the rest of these bros. <laughs> I love this singing right here. It's just so infectious. Woo! We're switching up the beat now. We're in for something epic. Get off my penis, like, why are you on my penis? But can you play like Serena is the question. Can you sing like Mariah is the question. Ooh, I love that guitar solo at the end. It's really good. Okay, so that was Outer Space, and I gotta say, they really 
did kind of make me feel like I was in outer space. I did kind of like how they switched out the beat halfway through. That was very creative. It really made you feel like you were in for like a story that they were telling. Guitar solo, of course, I loved at the end. It really stuck out to me. It seems that they're bragging about their luxury again, like their Mercedes Benz, their chains, their girls. You know, he has a girl that's gonna hit pipes like Mariah Carey. <laughs> but yeah, I think that one was pretty fun. Uh, and I really do think that it might be like a standout track. Track number 13, Smoke, featuring Hazen and So Fago. Seems like a really chipper opening. It really seems to like smoke. <laughs> now we're singing about smoke instead of chanting it. Yeah, I was wearing overalls before, but now I'm wearing the flyest jeans in the game, so fuck all y'all. I'm in a different time now, and it's all out of control. Okay, so that was Smoke, and I think that one was pretty good. There's not much to be desired from the lyrical content. It's just a bunch of uh, guys just like bragging about their luxury and everything. Uh, some of the melodies on the beat were pretty cool. I did enjoy listening to that. Although, I don't know if this is something I would return to. Um, I might have to give it another listen when I go through the album a second time, a full time. But, I don't know. Just doesn't hit right with me. Track number 14, You, featuring Travis Scott. I'm liking the beat, liking the melodies. Very dreamlike. Uh, you're, I'm al you're always waiting for me when I get home because, like, you just can't resist me. I booked you a flight so that we can see each other again. Ain't that romantic? Uh, giving a shout out to Hurricane Chris. Bold move, buddy. Mmm. <laughs> Travis Scott laying down some pretty seductive lines. This ain't kickball, baby. We are talking about seductive, pure love. Oh, we got another guitar solo on our hands. Liking it. So that was you, and I gotta say, that song I really liked last night, and I really liked here again. It's just two guys singing about their girls, and how much they love them, and how much they would give to them. How seriously they take their love, which I find to be very endearing. It's really great, and I think it's a track absolutely worth listening to many times. The production really has some nice elements going on with it, like the dreamlike composition, and the guitars, and like, the very subtle bass that they have going on, which really adds a lot. So, I like that one. Track number 15, Cross Faded. Ooh, I love that melody at the beginning. In the falsetto there. Whatever you call this, whether it be love or something else, it's very special. All right, red light, baby. Let's get to work. <laughs> A little harmonizing right there. Yo, this instrumental at the end is killer. Oh, my God. Oh, you can hear the trap beat just cutting out and just focusing more on the melody and the lyrics. Like in that. So that was a very endearing song. Crossfaded is the name, and I found it to be very endearing. It's him talking about how he feels so much love for this girl that he's like high, like on substances, like he's crossfaded. And maybe he's on like Xandies and love at the same time, but either way, it sort of elevates him to a new plane. And the melodies, the composition that he uses is just freaking amazing. It's like he actually conveys his love through the notes so perfectly, and I really did sense all the romance he was feeling. The way the trap beat sort of fades away as the song is coming to a close and we just focus on the lyrics is also a delicate choice. I love that. And now it's time to get to our closing track. Track number 16, Bogus. Seems to have a little flute sound right now. Set the pose. Like the notes he's hitting right there. <clears throat> that 
Lambo don't play. It don't mess around when it's speed. A hundred thousand checks. That's a lot of checks to stack up in your room. Mmm. <laughs> I love how intense the beat is. You can hear it on the outro. Okay, so that was Bogus, and I like some of the instrumentation on that one. I think it's just another song about him talking about his luxury, the amount of money he's just stacking up. It's just immeasurable. The Lamborghinis and all that. It's just, you know, him talking about his luxury. I like the instrumentals on certain parts, like the flutes and the trap beat and all that. I like the outro that sort of just slowly fades away. I think it's a fine song to end the album with, and I might have to listen to it again when I do my second album listening. I'm gonna take a breather and come back later once I listen to the album a second time, so stay with me. <sighs> Alright, so I am back, baby, and now I'm ready to give my final thoughts on Don Tolliver's Life of a Don. Speaking candidly, I've been more of a pop fan for most of my life, so reacting to hip-hop has been a pretty new ballpark for but even as someone who's looking to explore hip-hop a lot more, I think Don Tolliver's album really struck a chord with me. On this record, I see a talented artist with a real knack for smooth, melodic production, and knows how to make it well. He seems to be enamored by the success he's achieved since being featured on Travis Scott's song, and now he finds himself falling into a life of luxury. Whether it's Lambos, Gucci, or Deuce in his lemonade, he's now surrounded by all these lavish possessions. Of course, who could forget his romantic endeavors? You hear him sing about his time at the strip club, or sometimes you hear him sing about his special loved one and the close relationship that they've built. Songs like You and Crossfaded really pull at the heartstrings and convey a deep, feeling of affection. I will say that the talk of luxury can be a little too much sometimes, like on Way Bigger and Smoke, but maybe that's just me not experiencing the genre to its fullest. <laughs> Again, I'm taking the time to really dig into hip-hop, but I think Don Tolliver was a damn good place to start. I give Life of a Don a 7 out of 10. My favorite tracks in the album are Crossfaded, Swangin' on Westheimer, Escape, Outer Space, and Flocky Flocky. My least favorite would have to be Smoke, Company Part 2, and Way Bigger. And I think that'll do it for my reaction to Life of a Dawn. Thank you guys so much for listening to this album with me. Again, I haven't done too much hip-hop, but I really, really want to get more into it. So thanks for bearing with me. If you want to follow me on social media, you can look at my Twitter, my Twitch, and or my TikTok. Links are right down in the description. And you can also catch me on Patreon. Be sure to give me some great support in return for some great rewards. But I think this word will end the video. My name is Gabriel Jones, and the sun may be setting, but I hope you're able to soak up those drops. Take care.